Bridge construction is an impressive process where engineering meets nature. Everything starts with ground survey and pile driving for a solid foundation. Then the bridge piers are built and the supporting columns are raised. Either prefabricated beams are placed between these columns or cast in situ in segments. As the superstructure is completed, the reinforced concrete deck is poured and the road surface is created. Finally, the bridge is made ready for use with details such as guardrails, expansion joints, and asphalt pavement. Throughout this process, cranes, formwork systems, and special carrying equipment are used to place each piece in millimeter calculations. The result, a giant structure that safely connects the two sides. The construction of the Osmangazi Bridge began with the driving of giant steel piles under the sea. These piles form the foundation of the bridge. Then, the bridge towers were installed on both sides of the Gulf of Izmit, and the towers reached a height of 252 meters. Then, the main carrier cables specially brought from Japan were passed over the two towers and fixed between the two sides. These cables were the main system carrying the weight of the bridge. Steel decks weighing 600 tons were placed on them. These giant pieces were carried from the sea by floating cranes and assembled in the air with millimeter precision. After the assembly was completed, the road pavement, expansion joints, barriers, and lighting systems were added. As a result, the Osmangazi Bridge, which is the largest suspension bridge in Turkey and one of the longest in the world with a main span of 1,550 meters, was completed. <laughs> Dam construction is a gradual process that requires planning and engineering on a grand scale. First, the ground survey of the area where the dam will be built is carried out and the river is temporarily diverted to dry the construction area. Then, piles are driven, foundation excavations are carried out, and waterproof base layers are prepared. After this stage, the dam body is built. This body is raised layer by layer with reinforced concrete or rock soil filling. At the same time, structures such as water discharge channels, sluices, and energy turbines are installed. After the body is completed, water retention begins and a giant reservoir is formed behind it. In the final stage, control rooms, monitoring systems, and maintenance structures are installed and the dam is open for use for energy production and water management. The construction of Chamlika Tower was a special project initiated to leave a modern engineering mark on the silhouette of Istanbul. The process began with ground reinforcement and foundation excavations on Kuchuk Chamlika Hill, the highest point in Istanbul. High strength reinforced concrete piles were placed in the foundation area, which was dug down to a depth of 21 meters. Then the reinforced concrete core of the tower was raised floor by floor with the climbing formwork system and reached a height of 221 meters. The steel carrier system and glass fiber reinforced panels 
panels specially produced for the exterior of the tower were installed one by one. These panels both gave the structure an aerodynamic form and increased resistance to wind loads. The interior structure was equipped with elevator systems, broadcasting platforms, observation terraces, and restaurant floors. All old TV and radio transmitters were brought together under a single roof in this tower, reducing electromagnetic pollution. With a total height of 369 meters, Chamlika Tower was completed as one of the tallest structures not only in Istanbul, but also in Europe. Airport construction is a complex and large-scale project that transforms a giant area into a perfect transportation center. First, thousands of acres of land are leveled, backfilling and drainage work is done. Then, the basic structure of the runways is prepared. High-strength landing and takeoff runways are poured with special concrete and asphalt mixtures. At the same time, taxiways and aircraft parking areas are created. In the construction of terminal buildings, steel carrier systems are installed, and structures such as passenger lounges, baggage compartments, passport control areas, and airstrip systems systems are built. Simultaneously with this process, the tower building, hangars, parking lots, metro connections, and infrastructure systems are completed. Automation systems such as electricity, communication, security, lighting, and baggage handling are put into operation. In the final stage, test flights and certifications are carried out. At the end of all these steps, a giant air transportation center that will host millions of passengers emerges. Construction of airport towers, which are the heart of air traffic control, is a special project that requires high precision and engineering. The construction process begins with a solid foundation excavation, and the tower structure is strengthened with ground reinforcement works. Then, the tower is raised floor by floor using a reinforced concrete core or steel carrier system. The tower, which is usually constructed in a circular or aerodynamic form, is specially designed to resist wind loads and earthquakes. The top of the structure is expanded to become a control room and is covered with glass facades that provide 360 degree vision. This section is equipped with materials that are protected against electromagnetic waves. Inside, air traffic control systems, radar connections, communication panels, emergency systems, and operator areas are meticulously installed. It is made suitable for access with elevator systems and internal stairs. After the tower is completed, tests are carried out and the tower is made ready for flight safety. The airport control tower is the most critical structure that manages all flights as the brain of an airport. Is a giant bridge built. First, strong piles are driven into the ground and the foundation columns are created. Then cranes come into play, steel or concrete pieces are placed one by one. Each segment is fixed with high precision. The superstructure is created and the road is completed by pouring asphalt. This whole process is like a millimetric dance with tons of weight. And in the end, an engineering marvel that connects cities emerges.
dam is like challenging nature. In the first step, giant machines dig the valley and create a solid foundation. Then, the concrete is transported by giant trucks and poured layer by layer with special molds. Each layer is compacted and raised, and the giant body is revealed. Watertight systems are added, turbine rooms are prepared, and finally, giant covers are placed. And here it is. The dam holds water, produces energy, and directs nature. Building a tunnel under the sea. This is engineering at its wildest. First, the seabed is dug and huge steel or concrete segments are manufactured in a factory. Then these giant blocks are transported by floating cranes and placed under the sea with millimeter precision. The pieces are locked together, hollowed out, and the joints are made watertight. Finally, a passage is opened under the ocean and the two continents are connected. Every road starts with a strong foundation. First, giant machines dig and level the ground. Then crushed stone is laid and compacted with rollers. Then hot asphalt is poured with giant trucks, spread with paver machines, and crushed again with rollers to give the road its final form. This process, which progresses layer by layer, finally produces a smooth road that is resistant to vehicles. This huge structure is an energy monster rising in the middle of the sea. First, giant steel piles are driven into the ocean floor. Then the tower weighing hundreds of tons is assembled piece by piece. The propellers, each the length of an airplane wing, are placed one by one with giant cranes. When the turbine is completed, it produces enough power to light thousands of homes with a single rotation. This giant, which catches the wind, becomes the ruler of energy in the sky. This giant project transforms seawater into a source of life. In the first step, giant pipes carry ocean water to the purification plant. Here, high pressure systems filter the water, separating salt and impurities. Then, the purified water is delivered to cities miles away with giant pumps. This system, which processes thousands of liters per minute, is a technological marvel that literally turns the sea into drinkable water.
This is not an ordinary construction site, but a giant water line that revives the desert. As part of the Kachi Canal project, first, large channels were opened with giant excavators for the kilometers long line. Then, the ground was leveled with KC 6B 4R machines. Concrete pavements were laid and special culverts were placed for high flow water passage. In this phase managed by Ramzan and Sons, every step progressed with millimeter calculations. The result, an engineering triumph that brings life to arid lands. Oh,